Hello everyone, it is Doc Hitchcock back again with another puzzle solve. And today we're going to be solving The Idiot Box by Tyler Williams. And I will not only be solving uh, puzzles by Tyler Williams, I just happen to have gotten three of his newest puzzles. And I wanted to uh, review and solve those right away because um, not a lot of people have been able to see or have exposure to those puzzles. And so I thought most people would uh, like those videos over videos that have been solved on other, or videos over puzzles that have been solved on uh, other channels uh, more frequently. Anyway, I do this uh, because my dad loves these videos. And so, hey dad, how are ya? And by the way, happy birthday, dad. Anyway, let's take a look at the idiot box. And so, uh, Tyler was kind enough to let me kind of uh, put in some requests as far as uh, the look and types of wood. So a lot of the idiot box puzzles are made of different woods in different configurations. And this one especially caught my eye. It has at least four different types of woods. You can see some beautiful redwood, some uh, uh, black palm, I believe. And you can see the, the texture is quite interesting on the side there and on the top. And then you have the, the black screen front as well, uh, the white uh, front and then the black screen. And so I really kind of fell in love with this particular uh, set here. Uh, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Tyler, for uh, allowing me to at least uh, choose the one I wanted. Uh, regardless, uh, when you look at the puzzle, uh, again, another artistic piece here, uh, great finishes. You can see the back here, we have those uh, vents like they do in those old TVs. A lot of the young people here that are used to the flat screens may not appreciate this as much. Uh, and, and additionally, we have uh, you know, the, the, the front here with the antennae on the top, which is something, again, most younger individuals probably would not appreciate as much as uh, those of us who grew up with uh, these types of televisions. Regardless, the uh, goal of this is there's apparently 13 steps and you're supposed to find the antennae and put them on top of the uh, television set here. And so uh, let's uh, go ahead and begin. All right, so first thing that I like to do with Tyler's puzzles is look around a bit, and he, he tends to have these, these buttons here uh, on his that a lot of times have either springs or are led by or are held in place by magnets. Uh, and so then I, I look around and you can see there's several places, at least two here with those springs. And you have here, the screen is also slightly, um, you know, spring loaded and you can feel a little bit of a give there. Uh, and then that's a really about it. You see these holes here, uh, as well as a hole there, and then an extra hole right here. And then you of course have these two holes here that I'm assuming is where the antenna go uh, to solve the puzzle. And so uh, the first thing that I have already done is uh, when playing with it initially, I saw that if you push this button here, you get a little bit of a protrusion from this piece here. So I'm assuming that if we see, uh, there we go. Oh and uh, that piece popped out and it looks like it's a particular shape. Uh, so it's probably a key to something. And then if I pull on this, okay, it seems like it's stuck in there by a magnet. So, okay. So they're both similar, but they're not exactly identical. So if you take a look at them, let me uh, get a little bit of, let's see if I can focus that. Okay, if we put those here, you can see that, all right, let's try that again. All right, so if you look at them, you can see that they're very similar shape. However, there is a slight differences in the bottom. And so uh, I'm assuming that these are both gonna be keys of some sort. And looking at the puzzle, I'm assuming it's probably these areas here, which there's actually some spring loaded. When you push down there, you can feel it's spring loaded. So when I push them both down though, it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, so I'm not sure it's possible. You can see there's, if you look really close, you can see there's a spring right there. I'm not sure if I can, there's a spring right there. So I'm wondering if there's some sort of mechanism uh, down here that does something, uh, but don't seem to be able to do anything. So let's try this middle one here. Okay, so when I just took this sharp part here, 
and put it down into this thing here, I could feel the back panel release a little bit. Uh, but it didn't really re come out or anything. Oh, see, did you hear that? You could also hear a little pop. So I'm wondering, it's not really doing anything. So see that? I can keep doing that. Maybe you got to do both at the same time. See, there was another pop there. I can't really do them all because there's only two. Oh, see, that little piece there was stuck. Hmm, let me try that again. You see, that, that one's down. If you look there, there's a little piece of wood that's down. That one popped back up, so they're spring-loaded. Oh, see? And then I pushed that in, and that one popped back up. So, hmm. Well, okay, so if I push them down again. See, that one stayed stuck down. Okay, so obviously the panel comes out. And something to do with these buttons allows it to come out. But when I push both of them down at the same time, the panel does not come out. Unless I need to like pry it out or something. That's gonna be kind of hard if you need three hands. Uh, right, so now, and it's not automatic that these buttons stay down. Hmm, okay. I'll try that again with the, uh, okay, you can hear that makes a sound. So maybe, maybe uh, push down with this one. And then this one in the middle. Okay, so see that one's down now. So maybe if I keep that down. And then go to this one. <sighs> no. Okay. So I am missing something. So perhaps, perhaps there's another tool that goes in that one while I'm pushing these two down. And I'm not saying, oh, look at that. You can actually see all the way through where those two pieces were. So they were kind of snug in there. And so the question is, okay, so all right, so this is where they came out of, those two pieces. So this hole was already there and vacant, and it looks like I could probably fit one of these in there uh, in some way. All right, so that one fits in there like that. Let's see if I can push it in. Nope. Okay. See, there's a little bit of a slant there, so is it this one? Oh, okay, let's see if I put it in this way. Nope. What if I... Let's see if I can just put it in different ways. <laughs> Let's see if it actually fits in one of these ways. Maybe this one? I mean, they're pretty much the same. Okay, no. All right, so nothing's happened. I can't really do anything with that. Maybe I need to push these down and then I'll put, I can put this in there. Hmm. Okay, well, that was a, that was a thought. Hmm. Try one more time. Oh, see, there's a little dash there. I'm wondering if that means anything as far as how this works here. Oh, look at that. So when I stick that in there, it raises it up a little bit. So maybe I just need to push. I don't know. I'm scared to push because I'm afraid to chip these pieces. All right, so see, so you gotta be careful because I already, I don't know if you can see it, but I can, I, I chipped this piece when I was trying to like put it in there to try to get that up. And um, obviously you're probably not supposed to do that. I'm not even sure why there's a little uh, notch in there like that, but um, I'm assuming it's not to stick these in there, but because I, I did that, it didn't really, do, didn't really help me, but it chipped that piece and so it's a shame. Oh, see, I just tried to do it again. I shouldn't do that. All right. Well, obviously there's some way that that works there. And so I'm wondering if it's like, uh, you got to maybe put or choose the right tool or uh, maybe one of these back like that and then do it. Nope. Okay. So that's not doing anything. All right. So... Guess we continue to try something else here because you can see 
there's definitely some mechanisms there that you need to push in. I just can't get them to all fire at the same time. All right, I'm a little stumped here because I can see the mechanisms that need to be activated, but I don't, this doesn't seem to be budging. I wonder if maybe I have to push that down when I do it. Let's try that. No. Hmm. Can I do anything? Let me get that stuck. If I, is that like loosen this up or something? Oh, it did. Okay, I'm not sure why that happened, but I've got that one push down and that other one's still up. And somehow that must have loosened something up because this hasn't popped out yet, but now I could stick that one piece into there. So I don't know, maybe I need to, okay. So now I'm gonna take, see they kind of fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm gonna put that into that part here and push, oh. All right, I guess that did it. All right, and so now the screen just popped out and looks like we have the first antenna. Okay. So let's just take a look at this screen and see. Okay, so that, okay, that's what we were pushing out uh, with the thing, with the uh, pieces here. Let's just pull these back out. We were pushing up a latch here and then apparently when you get that other piece in there, it pushes this and there's a spring that pops it out. Okay, so that's why that popped out. So, and then you have this little compartment in here, which, you know, interestingly, just holds this little antenna, but I guess if you wanted, you could put some other prize in there if you were trying to surprise somebody. That's very cool. Okay, so now we have this. I can't imagine looking at this that it's probably not gonna be used as a tool. So I'll set this aside. It's actually pretty cool though. See the black wood there and then the nice red wood. So I'll set that aside for now. And I'll put these keys here with the antenna. And now actually I just got an idea because I'm assuming that the antenna might be, because that's such a small slot, that maybe I can use the three keys together and use this here. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Uh, so <laughs> maybe, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold that down, uh, push with the antenna, and then hold this one down with this. Oh, sh there you go. I was, <laughs> I was kind of uh, scary. All right, so I don't see the other antenna. And was that 13 steps? Let's see. No, I guess it wasn't. So I guess I shouldn't see the antenna yet, but how would I, the antenna. Okay, so maybe there's a, oh, and there it is. Okay, so there was, I don't know where that came from, but there's a little ball bearing that fell out of this. Maybe it was in that hole there. Okay, I didn't remember seeing that in there before. Hmm, I'm not sure you put it into this hole. Nope, doesn't go in there. I mean, it goes in there, but it doesn't do anything. Let's see, let's see if there's anything in there. No, it's not like a tunnel, I think. Or maybe that's where that ball was and just stuck to this or something. Is there a magnet on there? Oh yeah, there is a magnet. So there seems to be a magnet right there. That maybe that's, uh, maybe it got stuck. And then maybe I thought, okay. And there's a little button there. It doesn't really move though. Oh, so this button moves. Did I already move that? No, so these are the buttons on the bottom here. So these are the ones that I just pushed. But then there's another button here that moves and then there's a button on this side that does not move. And it was not engaged on the side. So this button here actually must do something. Let's see, is there anything? I don't see. 
don't see anything else to fiddle with here. So maybe the antennas in, in this, maybe it's like a puzzle box within a puzzle box. So, hmm. Okay. Can you push these in sequence? The, uh, let's see if I put the ball in here. Like, I, but I just did that and it didn't really do anything. Oh. Oh. Okay. So it can go across the top, but then it can also, there's also like a second tier, it looks like it. It's in like some sort of internal maze or something. So maybe if I push that button while it's in there. Oh, look, it's that button it wasn't pushing, it's pushing now. So maybe I take this here. Ah. See, there's a magnet holding that in place. Okay, so let's see if I can, if I take the pointy end. Oh, let's get the ball back in there. Take the pointy end, push it. Oh, ah, and there it is, the other antenna. That's pretty cool. And then, <laughs> then it says Beard's Wood Shop Company, number 13. So I must have bought the 13th puzzle. Really cool. Oop, I don't lose it. All right, so I guess what we need to do is put the antenna on. I guess that's the solution there. Let me put it back together really quick, just so we get the full effect. Anyway. And there is the finished solution for the idiot box. All right. So there you go. That is the idiot box by Tyler Williams at Beards Woodshop Company. Um, another great puzzle. It was a fun solve the whole way through. Stumped me a little bit at a couple places, but otherwise not a really difficult solve. But it is a wonderfully uh, made and beautiful display piece for your puzzle collection. And uh, you know, uh, I will say that I continue to learn my lesson about uh, usually if a tool is not made to be used in a certain way, uh, or you can tell it's not made to be used in a certain way, you probably shouldn't try to force it because you can end up damaging that piece, especially with a wooden or a plastic puzzle. So that's my bad. Um, uh, a lot of times it's just out of frustration that I do that because I just can't figure out the way that it's supposed to be done. Regardless, great puzzle, um, beautiful puzzle. I would highly recommend it. Pick yourself up one if you can, and if not, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again on the next solve.